Okay, first thing is turn power on on the side of the control box. With power on, we're going to press the start button and hold. Wait for the orange light to flash three or four times and then release. And wait, wait for the software to start up. Windows is booting up right now. After Windows boots up, the Victor software will start up. Notice the zero light flashing while it boots up. Okay. Thermal Dynamics software is going to start up now. Okay, so the thermodynamic software is started. Now the next step is to enable the drives. You'll get a green light on the drive enable. And go into jog mode. So to go into jog mode, we're going to enable manual mode. You'll get a white light. Once you're in manual mode, you can use the jog buttons to jog the machine. You'll notice it's jogging very slowly. You can use the speed up and speed down buttons to increase the jog speed. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you fire the machine up is home it. So to home, we're going to jog it toward the front of the table and jog the torch over to the left hand side. We're going to zero. When you zero, the uh, you, uh, hit the yellow button, yellow light will flash, the white light on manual mode will go out. Now we're going to hit the jog button, and we're going to hit home machine. Now the Y axis is going to go to the left, the X axis is going to go to the left, home, and then the Y axis is going to come forward toward the controller, home, and then go back. When homing's finished, this window will disappear. There, so homing's finished. Okay, now we're ready to run a job. Okay, once the Victor software is started, uh, the next step is to get everything ready to cut. So what you're going to do to get ready to cut is enable the drives first. Make sure that the plasma is in auto mode. And to do that, you're going to push and hold the plasma button until the light turns orange, just like that. Uh, make sure you push and hold. Uh, don't just push it or it'll try and light the torch. Okay, this is uh, adjusting the height control. So you're going to push on the, I, the IHC button right here. And that gets you to your height control section. Um, when you first load a new piece of plate, you have to push find plate. What that'll do is it makes the torch go down, touch off, and find the top of the plate. And then you can hit IHS test and the torch will go down, touch off, and come back up to pure sight. Now to switch back and forth between these two screens, you push the minus button there, and that takes you back to your, uh, your main screen. To go back to the height control section, push the uh, IHC. Now you can adjust your height by changing these voltage numbers right here on the fly, but the height is uh, 
is uh, attached to the process as well, which is usually pretty accurate. Uh, selecting a process. To select a process, we're going to hit the process button. Go to uh, plasma. Select your your uh, material. Select your thickness. And here it'll list uh, all of the consumables or all of the uh, processes that are available. So we're going to select the current we want to run. Let's say we're running at 65 amps and we want to select best quality. Okay, so we're going to select tool number 122. Hit select. Hit OK. Now if we want to verify that that tool is actually loaded, we can go to plate and we can see that we have process number 122, material stainless steel, thickness is quarter, and tool is uh, 65 amps. You can see our kerf width is in there already, and all that's attached to the, uh, to the process. Okay, this is plate alignment. Now with plate alignment, uh, it allows you to rotate the program to match the plate. Okay, so the first step with plate alignment is to jog the machine to your start point. Okay, so we're going to jog, we're all the way over to the left, this way, uh, on the machine, and um, the gantry is towards us, so uh, we're going to hit zero all right there. Okay, we zero everything out, we hit plate alignment, and we're going to set the first point right there. Okay, now we're going to go back into manual mode. We're going to jog along the x-axis and find another reference point at the other corner of the plate. Okay, so we went in this direction on the x-axis, so we're going to hit that button right there. If we had gone uh, in the y-axis down that way on the table, we'd press this button. Okay, so we're going to press the x and confirm point 2 here. Okay, so you can see that it rotated the program uh, almost a degree. So if we say uh, OK, okay, so you can see how it rotated the program to match our plate right there. So that's plate alignment. Now to do a dry run, uh, let's say that you load a part and you want to do a dry run on it without cutting it, you're going to use this ACT button. So hit ACT, hit trial run, enter a, uh, a speed that you want to run at, and hit OK. And it'll trial run that part. Now make sure that you've uh, hit zero. If you don't hit zero first, uh, it won't respond. And we'll return to start. So the program, if you have a program uh, on a flash drive, you would hit download. We're going to select something out of shapes. We'll just do a rounded rectangle. So this is the width. The red line tells you, uh, if you look up here at the highlighted field, the red line will move with the highlighted field. So we're going to say 6 by... And we'll do a, that's the radius right there, we'll do a 0.25, nope. I'll use my keyboard, 0.25, okay, and then we hit okay. So there's our shape. Hit OK. We don't need to rename it. Now to send this to the cut, it's already put a lead in on it. We're going to leave that. Uh, to uh, send this to the cut program, we're going to hit the red torch button, the upper left, and there's our part. Now to run this, we would uh, bring the torch to our start point. So we would go manual mode. We're going to jog the torch to our start point. Find zero, hit the zero button, 
that's our start point and then we would hit program start now one thing to note is that when you first start the controller up the plasma needs to be in auto mode now to do that You're going to press and hold until that button turns orange. Okay, and it should remember that. So you want you always want plasma in uh, auto mode. If if it doesn't, if it uh, lights, or if a plasma uh, doesn't go down and touch off when it's supposed to, then it's not in auto mode. Uh, and then you would at this point just press program start to run the job. So we're going to run this in. Uh, we're going to do a dry run on this and we're going to say act trial run and we'll run it at 200 inches per minute and we'll say go and that's going to go ahead and run it in trial mode and you can see it over here tracing the part out and the machine's doing the same thing Return to start, you can say no or yes. We're going to say yes, return to start. To pierce a hole, the easiest way is to find a spot on the plate, jog to a spot on the plate, press zero, and then with the plasma in the off mode, no light slit here, uh, press the uh, plasma button once. That'll turn it on with a green light. As soon as it pierces, just turn it back off. Now after you do that, make sure you press and hold to go back to auto mode. Otherwise the torch won't light when you run a program. To set the laser offset, you're going to go into process, hit settings. That'll bring you to this screen right here. And uh, you're going to set your uh, tool location uh, right here. So what you're going to do is pierce a hole in the plate and then note the numbers up here. So zero, make sure you're at zero first, press zero. Um, pierce a hole, then jog the machine over so the laser falls into the hole and note these numbers and plug them in right here where it says tool location.
and now the plate button is where you can align your plate. So if you have uh, a plate on the table that's not lined up perfect, you can uh, jog the machine to various, uh, you'll use the laser on the, on the torch and um, select one edge of the or one corner of the plate and then select another corner of the plate so let's do it so we go into manual mode we would come over find the corner of our plate with the laser hit zero and then go into manual mode again we're jogging in the x-axis torch to the left of us and we're going to find the edge of that plate and then we're going to hit plate alignment now this uh, oh, okay let's start that over Okay, we jog, we find the first position. Okay, so this is plate alignment. We're going to jog the machine to the first corner of the plate. And now uh, we find the first, uh, the first point will be, can be anywhere you want. Uh, find the first corner of the plate and then um, press zero all. Okay, we're going to zero the machine right there. Go to plate alignment and set, hit the set point one button here, okay? Now we're gonna go back to manual mode. We're gonna jog the machine. And we went down the x-axis and we're gonna find uh, the other point, another point on the plate in the x-axis. Okay, we went uh, x, So the first thing you're, you're going to do is load the process. So uh, everything kind of progresses from here on over. So we're going to hit process. We're going to hit plasma. Material. We're going to choose mild steel. We're going to choose our thickness. And uh, these are the cut charts for the hypertherm uh, power max. So we'll choose 12 gauge, and these are our available uh, tools set up. So uh, it says best quality and production. So we'll choose the best quality setting right there. It's tool number 65. Our current's going to be 45. Our speed is 185. It's a shielded uh, consumable, and that's going to be our best quality cut. So we hit select, and then hit OK. Okay, 